We are in uh, Junichi and my aim is to uh, present a video about Uskox uh, of Bela Krajina and uh, Boris will help me uh, the present in, in, this, in this presentation. Please start. Hello, uh, we are real assist hostel in Junichi in typical building uh, which was built a few hundred years ago. It is very typical for the region. This construction, as we see here, it's a dvor and such a buildings we can find in whole Balkan. You can find them in Turkey, in Bulgaria, in Serbia, in Montenegro, in Bosnia and Croatia and in very small part of Slovenia, in, not even in whole Belakraja, just in smaller part of Belakraja. How does it came here? Uh, in the 15th century, when the Turkish invaders uh, had come in this uh, region and uh, attacking the local people here, uh, most of the people in this region between Kolpa and major town Chernomel here were more or less either killed or taken as slaves to the Istanbul, younger people, younger boys as uh, future soldiers, Janicer called, uh, others for other workers. Uh, minority of the uh, uh, previous uh, citizens uh, try, uh, succeeded to escape, but most of the, of the uh, villages here were empty. In the next 200 years, the newcomers came to the region. They were called Uskok. It, the word Uskok it means something like jump to. It means the Uskok is the person who escaped against the Turkish invaders uh, from different uh, countries of the Balkan and tr uh, tried to live peacefully in this uh, Austrian uh, monarchy territory. The Uskoks which were coming were at least two kind, we would say. One of them were refugees which escaped to survive and others were brought uh, by the purpose. It means the landlords took some people under the Turkish uh, invasion territories to bring them to be the professional soldiers for the castles which they were built in that time. And such uh, dvor uh, was uh, built that way to uh, help the family living here to survive. Actually, it's uh, like small fortress, as you see. It is built by the wood, that's true, uh, but still uh, it was very good uh, uh, to preserve the lives of the people. Because not always the Turkish invaders come in the thousand numbers, but daily, because this is, was very close to the uh, the territory, war territory, and the small groups of uh, terrorists, we would say, that was, uh, that was the cavalry called Martolosi, that they were something like uh, paid invaders by the Turkish army, and they disturbed the life of the people here on the border. So such a fortress uh, helped them to survive smaller groups of invaders. Uh, so the people, the Uskoks, um, the, some of them got the land here and became the workers for the landlords. Uh, but the most of the Uskoks, they were invited as a soldiers and they were free people. They didn't pay any taxes, they didn't pay any customs, they didn't work for the church or the land landlord. They were professional soldiers and whenever needed, they were invited, uh, they were called, not invited, to fight against the Turks. But they supposed to do that by their own money. They supposed to have the weapon, they must come with the horse and so on. It is replique, of course. But the Uskoks were different for the other citizens in Bela Kraina. They were allowed to carry the weapon, they were allowed to ride the horse and so on. So they were a little bit different of the others. The clothes of the previous Uskoks perhaps it was lost, but the last few hundred years 
they use the very similar clothes like the local people here. It means everything uh, was made from the products uh, which were produced on the farm. It means linen, flax, wool and the leather. All the things were done at home. Everything what I'm wearing, that each family were able to make at home. It means it cost a lot of work, but it cost no money.